There's an interesting idea floating around our state capital requiring all high school students in Minnesota to take a personal finance class before they graduate. This idea is not new. It's been around for years, but it's now gaining momentum among our lawmakers right now. And Gordon tells you how it would work. Thanks for being here today. And Ideas come in all shapes and sizes at the Minnesota State Capitol. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, but rarely does the same idea come up twice in one day. I think this is a top priority. I hope you guys can help me work on this. That's Senator Rich Drayheim, who wrote a bill that would require all Minnesota high school students to take an online financial literacy class before they can graduate high school. Minutes later, in the same committee, Senator Steve Zwazinski presented basically the same idea. The only difference between our bills is this is online and mine's in person. According to the Financial Literacy Council of Minnesota, 17 states have similar requirements in place. A few others are considering the idea right now. Here in Minnesota, the idea has been floating around for a few years, but it hasn't had enough momentum to get passed into law. Students have an appetite for financial literacy. Stephanie Musgrove works with Best Prep and the Jumpstart Coalition. Coalition of Minnesota, two groups that work directly with teens and young adults to teach them the basics of personal finance. Understanding how to budget for rent or an apartment or moving in with someone or you've got your first job. She says some school districts are also teaching these classes in high school. But it's not necessarily required. There are a handful of schools that require their students just through the school and the district's policy that students take a per personal finance class but typically it's an elective. So many students aren't taking the class or don't have access to these classes. According to the Financial Literacy Council of Minnesota, about 7% of high school students are taking these classes. I think it's really important basic knowledge. Anita Drentlaw is the CEO of New Market Bank. She says many community banks like hers are working inside the schools to teach kids about money. I think sometimes eye-opening for kids because it's not really talked about as much as it should be. She also sees firsthand what can happen when these kids grow up to become adults and don't have the basic understanding of concepts like debt interest and loans. Somebody who wants to get their very first car loan, for instance, they might be coming out of college and have no credit. So she's all for the idea of requiring a financial class for all students. Many of the senators in the Education Committee on Wednesday also think it's a good idea. Again, really agree with it and I think just the the how. Like how the classes will be taught, in person or online, and who will teach them. And will the schools get extra funding or resources to add these classes? There are details these two senators plan to work out in the coming weeks, as they will likely combine their two bills into one. I look forward to uh, working with Senator Dreheim and all the other testifiers and getting this done this session if possible. Look at that. The two parties looking forward to working together. They hope this bill will be included in the omnibus bill this year. That's that big group of bills that get bundled together at the end of session and get passed into law. So we'll find out in the coming months whether or not it makes the cut.